So in this video, we're going to be reviewing my CCTV system following a conversation I had with my security advisor <laughs> who said he was having some new CCTV cameras delivered and had one spare and would I like it so I could trial it on Koi Pan Lifestyle. Oh yes please, can't knock anything till you've tried them. So let's bring it down, let's get it trialled on, on the channel and see how it goes. Because as some of you are probably aware, I use these Eufy security cameras which are completely wireless. So these are really handy if you can't plug in anywhere or you don't want to start drilling holes in your house. You just sort of fit them up to your house and then they wirelessly talk to your network, which is fantastic. I mean, they're not, they're not the cheapest of the, in the world, but they are, for me, uh, work really, really well. So this one at the moment sort of is situated up where that little white dot is. And that, that looks down on the pond and then picks up any silliness or anything untoward around the pond. So the idea with bringing a new camera in is this one will go up on a little blind spot that I have on the house, which I've been trying to sort of get hold of another camera for anyway, because how I situated the rest of them around the house, I always had a little blind spot. I couldn't see if, if anything should happen or if anybody tried to get into the house or want to wander around the house. So this one is gonna go there. My trialing camera is gonna go there. So that can look down at the pond because it's a wired camera this time. So I need to find some power for it. And I think it's a wireless, but it might, it also works with an ethernet cable. And I might be able to sort that as well. So let's crack on, have a look at this new camera and see how it goes. Right, we're in the man cave. Let's have a quick look at the new Tapo 2K QHD outdoor camera. Right, so we have uh, obviously the camera itself, the power, no idea, no idea, and some raw plugs and screws to put up on the wall. So, right, so there's your there's your waterproof Ethernet connection if you should you want to use it. Ethernet plugs in there, and then you've got the IP66, whatever it's called. Oh, and that goes in between there then, that must be there, that must go there. Yeah, there you go, cool. Let's uh let's get it fitted and see what happens. Right, so let's see how easy this thing is to put up and set up. First of all, got to get that down, and that's going to be repositioned somewhere else around the house to get out the, black, the blind spot. And then the new camera is going to go in its space. Look quite smart, actually. It's not very big, it's very light. Um, we'll talk about the spec anyway, and, and the specification, and how much it costs, and all that kind of stuff, a little bit later. But uh, let's get it all fitted, and see if we get it working. Now it comes with a little template. So you basically just put that against the wall and drill your holes. Seems pretty simple to me. Right, camera's up. However, <laughs> you spotted my first mistake. I drilled the holes upside down because there's a little recess just in the top of the bracket that allows you to sort of direction the, the wires that come out the back. And I wanted to go up, but I drilled the holes so they're coming down. So I've had to redo them and drill the holes so all the wires go up because I intend to put it under underneath my garage so it's extra waterproof. But yeah, that was quite easy, didn't take long at all. <laughs> just my mistake putting the damn thing upside down. Duh. Right, so the camera's up, um, and we've got the satisfying bit of taking the plastic film off the front. Oh, satisfying. <laughs> so all we've got to do now is, it says uh, download the app, power up, set up. So let's do that. Right, it took a little while to get to this stage, but all you have to do really is just to download their app, 
and then register your email address and create a password and then you're in. So I believe the next stage now is to press the plus, add a device, uh, outdoor camera. Now then which one was it? It was the 320WS, that one. Now let's go for wireless for the time being because I want to see if it works wireless. So we'll go with wireless first. Okay, uh, plug in your TPO and wait 30 seconds until the LED blinks red and green. If your TEPO device is connected to the router or an Ethernet, unplug the cable first. So it, um, it's not, I'm going to go for this uh, plugged in uh, a wireless. Right, that's flashing red and green now. So let's go next. Enable location, push and auto connect, blah blah blah, enable. So let's just go for location while using the app. Because now it's trying to find it. Right, cool. Connect to device. Connect. Found it. Cool. We're in. Choose my network. Right, I have to name the camera, so I might as well call it Life Pod Lifestyle. Let's go next. Location. Complete. Now, with regards to the SD card, I've gone out and bought myself one of these micro SD cards, 128 gig, which was advised by the head of security to use this. He's got one, he uses 128 gig, and apparently when it fills up, it then starts deleting the oldest first. So as it, as it gets to full, it deletes the oldest first, and then it just away it goes from there. So you're never having to kind of format stuff, you just start deleting the older stuff. Right, micro SD cards in, after inserting it, confirm like configuration zones, blah. So, update time, okay, firmware, let's do that. <laughs> let's get a little swimming pool there. Pond camp, mine. Oh, there we are. Initialize, update required. Okay, let's update. Update. Right, so there it is, set up. Just move the camera around a little bit so you can see the whole of the back garden. Uh, I've got options, I don't know what this is yet, and I think we've got some, you able to talk. You press that and you can talk, and you've got an alarm on it, and I think that's just mic volume. What's this then, playback and download? So that's everything I've just played that's gone onto the SD card. I haven't, you can have an option to do the cloud. You can have a cloud option, but obviously it costs money. So uh, we don't want to do that. We're just going to do SD card, close that. And again, all your options are down the side here. So you still take pictures, you can put the light on. Uh, you can flick across to another camera. Obviously I've only got one at the moment. Um, so we just have this one camera here. Um, right, motion detector, let's go and have a look. Let me see if I can go out and detect myself doing something. Hello and welcome to Quite Fun Lifestyle. <laughs> right, so I'm going to give it a, a little bit of a trial for a few days. I'm going to try it tonight in night mode and see how it works in night mode. Because apparently you've got lights that, that flick on and it records throughout or whatever. You know, it alerts you when there's movement. So I'm thinking, you know, I know there's the, the odd heron that comes around here, but if anything lands by that pond, or if anybody comes into the garden, it will instantly alert me on my phone and tell me something's happening at home or something's happening around your pond. So whether I'm inside or, or away or whatever. But what I'm gonna to try today is, I've got to take the, the bear for a quick walk. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take him for a walk and then fire this app up and see if I can still see the pond from where I am, so see how it wirelessly works, see if it talks to my my network and sends me the signal to my phone, so it depends how far away you are from home. So let's go away and try that. Away, up, up. Sit.
Right, so I'm out with the dog. As you can see, we've been doing a bit of playing and a bit of training with the bear. And um, I'm just about to show you that uh, how well the, this camera's doing. I'm literally, I'm a 20 minute walk away from my house in the middle of a field. I don't really see that, but there's the pond. In all its glory, and the time does say uh, 1344, and the time is 1344. So yeah, look at that. I'm just literally, I'm, I'm literally a 20, 30 minute walk, well, 20 minutes say, from my house, middle of a field. Training with the bear at the moment, and it, really good, I'm impressed. You know, the camera does show that uh, we're still live. So anything has happened, it'll tell me if there's anybody spotted or anything comes up. It should be able to tell me, and uh, there it is. So, tick. Right, I've been living with the Tapo 2K QHD security camera for a few days now, and uh, yeah, I'm quite impressed. I thought what I'd do is I would compare it to my Eufy camera that I have already around the house, you know, what and that used to monitor my pond. But first of all, I want to say a big thank you to my security advisor for actually pointing it out and letting me have one of these cameras to trial and put on the canal, monitor my pond. So let's have a look and compare. I thought I'd compare with Tapo and Eufy and do some comparisons on, on how they both perform versus the price, because I've had my Eufy system for a while now. So. Uh, personal and vehicle detection, yes, they both do that. Uh, local memory storage, now then, the Tapo, you have to put your little memory card in and it stays with the camera. So if the camera gets nicked and the memory stick has gone with the camera, the little micro SD, now the Eufy has its own local storage. Now that's inside my house in its own little unit. Looks like this. So that sits in your house and that's where all your storage goes. So if somebody comes along with your camera, you still have evidence of, of them being there and them doing whatever they've done wrong. Tapo, wired or wireless. So you've got the wireless option that we're using at the moment, or you can place an ethernet cable in it and, and run it that way around. Again, that does that as well. Sound and light alarm, yep, we'll look at them in a minute, but again, both do the same. Active privacy zones. When I first did it, we had this. And as you can see, we had some neighbor's windows, so I blocked it like this which was quite handy, but then I've just moved the camera around, so now it looks like this. So there's no need, but you can, if you want a privacy somewhere out, you don't want to be looking at somebody else's property, house, whatever, you can block them out with those little black box that I put on. Two-way audio, yeah, they both do that. So you can two-way, they can speak to the camera and you can speak out to them as well. Night vision and color night vision. Yep, both do that as well. Both got the little lights on and you can adjust in the tapo, you can actually adjust how how far the light will project to how it, how it works. So that's I thought that was quite good. Easy fitting, yeah, easy peasy. As you saw, the tapo went on within sort of 10, 15 minutes, half an hour. Same with the Eufy. The, the best thing about the Eufy is that you don't have to be drilling holes. The only holes you drill are the ones for the raw plugs to fit it up on your, on your wall or wherever you're going to put it. As the Eufy has, no wires. Right, costs. Interesting one. The Tapo camera that I've been testing is around about £50. However, I've seen a deal on Amazon at the moment and they're doing them for £33. Well, it's £32.99. Now, the, the cost of the Eufy system, now that's bigger. We're talking around about £150 for a little starter pack. You get two cameras and you get a base station where you basically it stays in your house and that's where all your memories kept. And if the, if the camera goes missing, you've still got the images of how that camera was taken or whatever happened to it. So there's quite a price difference in the two. And to be honest, the Tapo does everything really that this does, apart from you have to drill a bigger hole in your, in somewhere to get the wires or you have to start chasing wires through to find some power and or some ethernet if your wireless doesn't work. So I've also had a look on the Tapo website as well. There's loads and loads of stuff you can buy on there. And if anybody on here has one of their auto vacuum cleaners you want me to test, I'm all ears. Because <laughs> they're raced. I've just looked at these little vacuum cleaners that go around and clean your house for you. Wow. So I'll leave a link in the bottom for a link to the Amazon camera. It's got some money off it and it's only 33 quid. Right, so let's have a look at the night vision capabilities just before we wrap up. Now this Tapo camera is supposed to be able to give you black and white, infrared and color pictures during the evening. 
So last night I spent some time picking up on what we have. So let's have a quick look at the colour. So that's generated through a, lot, a very strong light that's on the camera itself. And when it picks up on detection, the light comes on, pew, opens up. So you've got two things there. You've got deterrent of, ooh, a light's come on. Uh, and also you've got the capability to be able to see in colour what it is. Now, to be honest, it's a street light that kind of casks light over my garden anyway. So that is helping. So I haven't got a truly dark back garden, almost pitch black garden to demonstrate this on. So let's have a quick look at the infrared capabilities of the Tapo camera. And you see, it's nice and crisp. Again, you can zoom in and out of the, of the camera on your phone. If somebody's detected in the garden, it will pick it up and it will alert you. And what the hell? Quick, get the police. <laughs> so, so if you have your own little security cameras, you want to tell us all about what you've got, please leave them in the description below, comment below. But in the meantime, please subscribe, share, Ding the bell for notifications, but more importantly, click that like button because that makes all the difference. Thanks very much for watching. Quite bad lifestyle.